with Mr. Trouble over there. Oh, no, oh, there he is. That guy right there. Still punking out the chair. But don't worry. We may go ahead and get a cheap tripod. Maybe we'll do a proper unboxing and video review. That's actually a great idea. I should probably have done that with all of this GoPro stuff because I've ordered 10 to 12 accessories. Especially since I've decided to start actually recording and uploading to YouTube. I got a couple of accessories when I first bought the GoPro and that was in hopes of swimming with whale sharks, which I had had paid and, and booked and paid for, I should say. But storms in Mexico kept us from being able to do that. We're putting you to good use now, though, aren't we? Now, if there's any GoPro executives watching, I would love an opportunity to vlog with the new Hero 7 Black. So, if you want to send me, uh, you know, the APR department, send me a review copy. You know, Casey Neistat got one. He's got, like, I mean, just under 11 million more followers than me. But it would still work, so... Welcome to the channel, everyone. We are going to do our first real review slash unboxing of items from Amazon. Now, I could probably review a billion, okay, that's an exaggeration, hundreds of devices and items and other nonsense, if you will, from Amazon. But we will try to keep this slightly on topic. All right, so, first package. Ta -da! Hopefully the lighting is not as bad as I think that it looks. That's why I chose this spot. I don't know if the too much light behind me is going to be too much for the GoPro to handle. That being said, we did pick up a Smart Pole F1. It's a floaty ultralight carbon fiber monopole for GoPro. And I decided I needed something that floated because I am going to be taking this to Aruba, which we haven't talked about much on the vlog yet. But uh, we're going to be doing some travel videos there. And I'm going to be taking it in the water. And I have taken this in the water before, but never the ocean. Never for anything serious, as it were. So. Something of floats was definitely needed. And I'm not afraid to admit that I picked this one over others because it's carbon fiber. So, let's see how well that picks up. Hopefully the lighting is not as awful as it looks in my remote view and my camera. It does have a screw, so you can put it on a tripod. Interesting. Nice and lightweight. The thumb screw for the GoPro is nice and easy to screw in and out. So, upgrading our GoPro game. This is a just in case. Um, we're certainly not in a position where we can just go and buy a new GoPro if I lose my guy in the ocean. Not to mention it is the only camera that we're filming with. So, if I lose this, we're kind of SOL. Next on the docket, look at this guy. Let me figure out how to open this guy. I wasn't expecting to find this in the box. This is our stain and odor eliminator, professional strength, enzyme based. We have three cats.
Okay, so that was smaller than I was expecting it to be. But it all makes sense with the extra item. So, this is an Amazon Basics 60 inch lightweight tripod with tripod bag. In the video before this one, we're gonna upload that probably to today. I once again struggled with where to place the camera. I have essentially a bar stool set up. Oh, one of those bar stools. And I set either the GoPro 3 axis tripod or I did just get a UB size bendy leg tripod but the bendy leg UBZ tripod is eh, that tall or so we did make it work I stacked something up on the chair there we are nice little carrying bag although primarily this is only going to be used here So as you can see, this is a lightweight, smaller tripod. It does extend up to 60 inches. So let's just put this guy on the ground and see if I can figure out how to do it. That's really crank. So we can get there. Okay. for a full five feet. I'm not entirely sure what this piece does just yet. My first time ever playing with a tripod, so. I do see a level. Nice that we have that. So it does lift up so you can tilt. That's our lock there. And I bet these legs will go to any length. probably going to be an optimal shooting spot for me. So I'm excited to have a proper tripod finally. I think it's time to throw the GoPro on it, move back to the office, and maybe we'll go ahead and take a look at the new bendy leg tripod. I think that's what it's called, bendy leg tripod. Flexible leg. You'll see. The tripod is set up. Gonna mount the GoPro on it. It's a nice addition to the study. All right, we have the tripod set up. And already, there's not a giant chair in front of me with a camera precariously balanced and something for the cats to jump up on. So I call this a win in my book. I did it all for the Wookiee, but I also did it for the fame, of course, because, you know, it's the internet, famous. I do have 22 subscribers. So I promised a look at this guy. So this is the UB size tripod S it's called. It's got the bendable flexi legs, which makes it super versatile. It also came with the, it's got the regular screw top. Let me make sure I'm lined up here. It's got the regular screw top, but it came with a GoPro adapter to screw into that. You don't see it now, because I'm already using it for the tripod I just got. Um, they sell those separately for like $9 if you don't need something like this. And then essentially you can use any tripod on this green earth for your GoPro. That being said, I've already gotten a lot of use out of how versatile this is. I can just kind of bend the legs, put them anywhere. The free axis one that we just showed you the tripod part is super flimsy, so absolute flat surface. 
no movement. You know, I bumped the desk, it fell over. Of course, I've got this guy to contend with mostly, uh, who's super curious and always wants to get in the way. But then also, if you want to set it up outside, I don't think that would work at all. Any kind of a breeze or anything of that nature. I have also seen that these are supposed to be able to, you know, wrap around a tree branch, you know, use these legs for however to brace it and gets an actually really good shot how well that shows up. So when you're out in the field, as it were, or just out traveling or just want to get a cool shot, you know, these GoPros are so small and that's why they're so awesome. You get something like this and instantly your options uh, expanded tenfold, if you will. One of the other things I like about this guy is it's got little push buttons here. Now that's easier to do when the adapter and the GoPro are on this thing. So you set this up, line up your shot, you need to move around, you want to zoom in on something, pop that out, pop it back in. Nice and sturdy. This has a little ball joint on it as well. Got this guy that twists. So you can loosen that up and move this around. Nice range, especially for something like this. I believe this was $17, $13. I mean, it was definitely in that range. And I'm wanting to say for sure under 20 bucks. And I like this, the tripod, the three axis, and is that all we showed? I'll link those all in the description below. And yes, they will be affiliate links. If you click through those and purchase those, or I think anything, once you've clicked through the affiliate link, I do get some sort of kickback. I don't know what that is because I've not had the opportunity to use it for anything yet. Um, so I'd appreciate that. Anything helps support the channel and plans that I have for not only expanding the gear but expanding the content. So I hope you enjoyed this little look at a couple of GoPro accessories. Let me know how we did or if you have any questions about any of these. Super cheap, super easy to use. Anybody can grab a couple of these items and a GoPro or any digital camera. Start making movies. Catch on the next one.